Now some very dire and staggering images really coming to us here in the AccuWeather Hurricane Center this hour thanks to Tropical Storm Ernesto and I'm Katie Fellinger here to bring you the latest on what's already happened and what we think is to come with Ernesto specifically though for Hispaniola this hour. Look how high this water has already come. This is mostly at this point been a rainmaker for the island of Hispaniola and specifically in Haiti. This is a residential community that is just being pretty much overrun with water as well as obviously the rivers rising way over their banks. Animals and sadly even children getting swept up by these waves. But what's to come with Ernesto? Well, just sent our latest aircraft into the storm to tell us exactly what's happening with the winds. The yellow barbs are telling us that there are lighter wind speeds certainly outside of the system, but once that plane interacts with the storm, see that color change? That tells us that we do have tropical storm force winds currently with Ernesto. Again, what's to come from this storm? Well, the models have a lot of variation in what they think is really going to happen here. And you see all of these different paths. Now we think that your best shot at this point is going to be in this northeasterly track here. So either the darker or the lighter green shaded area is where we think Ernesto is actually going to go. And actually, that's pretty much the worst case scenario when it comes to the northeastern United States because your forecast iPath then from AccuWeather is going to take this storm right up the east coast as a category one hurricane. So it's going to strengthen as well. And it's taking its time, which means it'll have plenty of time to dump upwards of close to a foot worth of rain specifically around the The Sprinter Flypack is a low-cost, multi-camera, high-definition production truck designed and built by TV Pro Gear. It's used for shooting live events, including concerts, sports, 
sitcoms and dramatic series, corporate events, and houses of worship. TV Pro Gear Sprinter Fly Packs work with any camera, from inexpensive JVC and Canon cameras to high-end cameras from Sony, Panasonic, and Hitachi. The Fly Pack can handle up to 10 cameras, including robotic cameras if required. The cameras are attached to the Sprinter fly pack via fiber optic cable. The cable carries intercom, genlock, timecode, tally, and power to the camera. Remote paint panels enable the operator to match the cameras for brightness and color balance. Customers choose from a variety of tapeless recording formats, including XD Cam, P2, KeyPro, or Blackmagic SSD. A variety of switcher choices let the operator cut from camera to camera or to feeds from satellites, DVDs, and computers via the built-in frame synchronizer. Dissolves, wipes, chroma keys, and even 3D effects are included. The multi-viewer allows the director to change the layout of the screen to his preference. Four channels of instant replay and slow motion are included for shooting sports. Graphics and titles are handled by the optional Chiron character generator. A multi-channel intercom lets the director and camera crew be on one channel while the stage, lighting, and sound crews use the other channels. Four channels of IFB for queuing talent are standard. The stage box attaches to an audio snake. The other end of the snake attaches to the fly pack access panel. From there, the mic signals are routed to a 16-channel audio mixer. A 32-channel digital mixer is optional. Four Sennheiser wireless microphones are standard. All devices in the fly pack are connected to a 40 by 40 HD SDI video router for easy signal assignment. The access panel on the side of the Sprinter fly pack enables users to feed signals to monitors or projectors. All formats of both standard and high definition can be input or outputted including component, composite, SDI, HDMI, and DVI. All TV Pro Gear Sprinter fly packs are menu switchable between 1080i, 1080p, and 720p. They can even shoot in PAL and NTSC if required. An H.264 encoder is available for streaming video to the internet in HD. This is the same encoder used to stream the Olympics and NFL football so you can be assured your streaming video quality will be second to none. A low-cost satellite dish is optional. The Sprinter fly pack is powered by two standard AC extension cords. One is for the air conditioner. The other powers all of the video equipment. The Sprinter fly pack draws less than 15 amps, so you don't need an electrician to tie into a fuse box. Should you lose power, the Sprinter fly pack can run up to one hour on battery backup. A 3.2 kilowatt generator is also available when shore power is not. Inside the Sprinter is a removable fly pack that houses all of the electronics. The rear console and bench seat accommodate the instant replay operator, the title generator operator, and a producer. The Sprinter fly pack comes with a second box that holds the cameras, tripods, cable reels, and headsets. When the accessory case is removed, you have another room that can be used as a narration or sound booth. Need to shoot in five countries in five days? No problem. With only two boxes, you can shoot anywhere in the world. Typical time from arrival at the location to being ready to shoot is less than 15 minutes. In-depth training and after-sales support is provided by TV Pro Gear specialists. Surprisingly affordable, highly reliable, and easy to use. Whether you're interested in buying or renting a system, call TV Pro Gear today to get a quote on a system customized to meet your needs.